There have been so many great advances in science over the past 100 years, but none of these were possible due to mathematization and development of algebra or algebra. Muhammad ibn Abdullah Musa al-Khawarizmi, the father of algebra, was a well-known mathematician, physicist, geographer, and a tourist member of House of Wisdom. Al-Khawarizmi is said to be the inventor of algebra. His fame in human history is due to invention of zero in arithmetic. In 12th century, decimal position number system was a nor in Europe after Latin translation of his work on Hindi numerals. For the first time, solution of formal quadratic and linear equations was presented in the world's first book on algebra, al mukhtasar fi hisab algebra wal muqawla The word algebra is derived from the name of his book. The English word algorithm is a corruption of his name. In Spanish, the word guarismo is derived from his name, which means number. He was born in Baghdad, a medieval country. The family name suggests that his family was from Khwarezm, Khaywa, the region of Turkestan. This area today is a part of Azerbaijan. Abu Rihan al-Biruni called the people of Khwarezm a branch of Iranian tree. This is how the historian Tabri wrote his name that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi al-Majusi. His ancestors were zero Astrians. He belonged to a poor family. He has been reading art books day and night since his childhood. He remained unknown in Khawarizm. He studied in Baghdad. The circumstances of his childhood are not preserved in history. All that is known is that he had mastered the astrology and the mathematics. His ability took him to the Khalifa court and soon became the favorite of Caliph Mamun al Rashid. For 72 astronomical observations, Caliph Mamun established an observatory at Babu Shamsi in Baghdad. When it was established, Khwarizm also engaged in research work here. He has started and summarized Indian Brahma Siddhanta brought by Pandit Kanka. On the order of Mamun, he measured the circumference of the world together with other scientists by the length between Rocco and Palmyra. He took a list of latitudes that are surprisingly consistent with today's modern research. In Ibn Nadim book al firas that is written in 10th century, a short biography was provided with the list of books. Firas Ibn Nadim is a collection of end-to-end -end sciences and the best mirror and reflection of the cultural capital of time. The book explains which languages were in use at the time, the script, how they came into being and who were the famous calligraphers. Until the end of 4th century, the science and arts were present in Arabic. Ibn Nadim was the master of all of them. The names of books are listed in Firas Ibn Nadim, only the names of most of them remain. The great years of books were destroyed during the Tatar period. The works in his list based on his observations, studies and collection of books. Ibn Nadim completed the list in 37 years. In 377, people had copies of the book. There are several versions of this. Sister Betty UK, Shahid Ali Pasha version, published in Egypt, Philogial version, Germany. Al Khawarizmi did all the scholarly work over a period of 20 years after the Islamic conquest of Iran. Baghdad became the scientific center of the world, and many businessmen scientists migrated to Baghdad. He soon became a member of the House of Wisdom that Caliph Mamun al Rashid had established in Baghdad. It so happened that he wrote an extensive scholarly dissertation and sent it to the director of House of Wisdom. The intelligent and genius scientists in the inter wisdom studied it with their eyes, verbally examined the text of the article by asking questions. After the consolation, he has been granted membership of the Academy of Science. Thus, he was the first man in history who started writing essays. This method is now in use. In universities, students would write an MA or PhD dissertation and it would be reviewed. Questions asked to students by the board of professors about the dissertation respond to what is called code defense. The student, after successfully defending, has given a degree. He studied science and mathematics at the Science Academy in Bangalore. In addition to articles, he also studied translations of Latin and Sanskrit books. He has huge contribution in mathematics, geography, cartography, algebra, and trigonometry. He wrote a book on Hindi numbers. Then practice of numerical systems started throughout the Middle East and Europe. It was very difficult to write numbers in Latin. But in Hindi, it was very easy to write thousands, millions of crores in the number. That is why today numbers are the backbone of our computer system. 
all computer operate on one or zero that is something is either on or off translation of this book into latin was done by indorum algorithm from which the term algorithm came into existence his famous book including algebra zij sanad hind hindi arithmetic geography and history books in arabic dictionary algebra means the broken thing of operation is in pair while in the arabic idiom it is used to connect broken bones in mathematics algebra means to complete an incomplete number computation literally means coming face to face while in mathematics it is find the positive and negative number of course khwarizmi was the inventor of algebra he worked day and night in this field and after too many research he gave it the status of regular science three and indian had written books on this art before muslim khwarizmi coordinated greek geometrical research and took it further through his research kitab mukhtasar algebra wal muqabla was written around 830 and dawn it was written on the order of mamun ar rashid so the trade in helten and area issues can be resolved the theory and other principles of algebra are explained in the first 50 page and the rest is the method of distribution of under the law of islamic inheritance the second part is about measurement and area The third part is the longest part which deals with inheritance issues. One degree and two degree equations are also discussed. He has been used work instead of symbol throughout the book. He wrote the word for an unknown quantity, dirham for a measurement, square for an unknown object. In our day x is written for an object. In this thought provoking book Khwarizmi used Arabic for the unknown in arithmetic equation instead of x item. When the book was published in Andalusia it was translated into Spanish by X letter used the same letter began to be used in Europe as the Latin alphabet because it is one of the last three so for the other in the book many problems of algebra were solved with the help of geometry which were followed by later by European mathematicians he has presented many theorems for right triangle measuring the areas of triangle parallelograms and circles history shows that he was the first mathematician in the world who incorporated the symbol minus in algebra because of this branch of mathematics reached its zenith He is also known as the inventor of zero. He added zero to the Hindi numerals, one to nine to the Arabic numerals, by which the people of Europe accepted and set out on the path of development. With the addition of zero, numbers began to be expressed in thousands, millions, crores, and billions. A rare Arabic version of the book is preserved in the Powell Library, Oxford University. The name of author is printed as Kitab Al Khawarizmi Ma Shakla by Sheikh Al Ajal Abi Abdullah Muhammad bin Musa Al Khawarizmi. This version was translated into English by F. Frozen in 1831. In Cambridge, a Latin translation of book is preserved. The book of algebra and computation is recognized as the basic book of the modern algebra. Algebra means restoration and al muqabla means balancing. Algebra is the process of removing negative units, roots, and squares from the equation by adding same quantity to each side. Algebraic terms were not invented during Al-Khwarizmi period. That is why he used to explain a problem in book and then used to solve it. For unknown quantity, he used word object, which is our x. Algebra was a unifying theory which allows rational numbers, irrational numbers, geometrical magnitude, etc., all to be treated as algebraic objects. It gave mathematics a whole new development path, so much broader in concept to that which had existed before, and provided a vehicle for the future development of the subject. Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci says that the style of Arab was superior to that of Pythagoras. He authored a book with 15 chapters on algebra, Al-Khwarizmi. made six equations of second class a quadratic question Maulana Shibli Numan says about the book Algebra that on the knowledge of algebra the first book in Islam was written by the famous scholar of the era Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi other shapes still exist today and so comprehensive there are hundreds of books in the Islamic competition but the real problem is that they could not progress more than that the issue of inheritance is described on page 86 on the first 15 page of the book the theory of algebra and other principles are explained and the rest describes the way to distribute property under the law of islamic legacy the second part is about habitat the third part is the longest one degree and two degree equation have also been discussed al khawarizmi second trust was the book on mathematics is kitab al jama wa tafriq bi hisab al hindi through this book a new method of calculation was introduced 
द न्यू सिस्टम ऑफ नंबर एंड जीरो वॉज अ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट विदाउट विच देर इज नॉट अ सिंपल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ पॉसिबल टू डू दैट इज जीरो थ्रू विच वी गिव ऑल द नंबर दे आर प्रॉपर प्लेस इन द लैप ऑफ हंड्रेड थाउजेंड मिलियन एंड बिलियन दिस मेथड ऑफ यूज इज कॉमन एंड इजी द यूज ऑफ नंबर जीरो टू नाइन इज ड्यू टू आर खबर जमी इन अरेबिक जोमेट्री इज नाउन एज डिजिट द लिटरी मीनिंग ऑफ जोमेट्री इज गेस फर्क बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एस्टिमेशन ऑफ लैंड The practice of Hindi numerals began during the region of Caliph Mahmud. After the Latin translation of his books, it was sent to Europe. The revolution, the revolution in calculation and in the commercial world, has come due to the arithmetic numbers. The word has introduced to this book with Hindi numbers, but now they are called Arabic numerals because they came from Islamic world to Europe. The technique of calculation with the help of Hindi is called algorithm, which is a form of al-khwarizmi, Latin algorithm. Algorithm means a science in which calculation done by nine digits and from zero. The basic of computer is algorithm. No computer can work without it. Therefore, Muslims are also indirectly involved in the invention of computer. The word algorithm is derived from his name Al Khwarizmi. Computer work under the principle of algorithm. This method was discovered by Al Khwarizmi through which solution is sought for range of difficulties. This method has huge importance in science and mathematics. any problem on sorted by algorithm it can be used in any book computer and programming language al khwarizmi was not only a mathematician but also a high level geographer an important work of khwarizmi in geography was his book sura al ard that means image of the earth he completed this book in 633 this was a revised edition of ptolemy book on geography introduction to the book geographical information such as mountain river island after the sea and longitudes of 2400 and two cities of the world were given for european country he used ptolemy latitude and longitude but for the islamic world he depended his own observations maps of different areas were also given in islamic country this book has been in use for many years European scientists of medieval used the given latitude and longitude of the Islamic world. One of the books prescriptions was preserved in the library of University of Strasbourg, Austria. Its Latin translation is also available at the National Library of Madrid. On the first page of Latin version is written that book includes the image of the earth, of cities, of mountains, of seas, of all islands and rivers. According to the author Abu Jafer ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, Ptolemy's book Geography The beginning of a book is from the list of latitudes and longitudes are given according to the climatic zones. In the book he also reveals the way in which the size of the earth can be determined. Neither the Arabic manuscript of Surah Al-Ard nor the Latin translation described a map of the world. However, Bert Dorick created a deleted world map for the latitude and longitude of the coastal areas that were given in the manuscript. Khwarizmi corrected the wrong length of the Mediterranean Sea that was described by Ptolemy. Ptolemy called it 63 degree while Khwarizmi wrote its latitude of 50 degree that is almost close to the original. Ptolemy wrote that the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean is landlocked while Khwarizmi said it is an open sea. Khwarizmi said that the prime meridian is 70 degree west of the Baghdad. Later Muslim geographer continued to use this prime meridian. Prime meridian is a hypothetical sphere on the earth that divides the earth into east and west. Its longitude is 0 degree. Modern prime meridian is located in Green Hat Royal Observatory in London which is used to determine the international state line. Caliph Mahmud Rashid had given a scientific project to the scientists of Baghdad. He ordered to measure 1 degree of the earth so that the diameter of the earth is known. In this scientific expedition Khwarizmi was also involved. He was one of the 70 geographers who made world map for Caliph Mahmud. Ibn Nadim wrote number of books in his book Ferris such as Book of Sun Dials and Book of History. Book of History is mentioned but its page has been disappeared. The Book of Numbers was on Sun Dials but its content is unknown. In the Book of History biography of important political figures of Khwarizmi era was given. With the use of astrology, Khwarizmi mentioned events of these personalities that were predicted in his individual horoscope. Al Khwarizmi was attributed by naming the crater on the moon is called Al Khwarizmi. Every year in Iran, international awards are given. In front of Amir Khabib University of Technology, Tehran, a statue of Khwarizmi is erected.